Hello, 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 hello. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Can you hear? It's me, everyone. Hey. Hello. Hello. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you too. Hello, so, everybody. Can you hear us loud and clear? Yeah, we're so sorry, guys, if we um, reschedule the live because we had a problem with our internet. That's the reason why I'm turning off my video to check if um, Roger can actually, um, if Roger is um, okay. Like I, I'm, I, I'm, I am not freezing, guys. Yes. Am I freezing? Um, yes. Not really. Okay. Okay. So, good morning, guys from the Philippines. Good morning. Good morning. How yes, are you morning. guys? Good morning. We're live right now. We're okay, live. Hopefully, it's okay right now. Hopefully. Hopefully, like it's earlier around um, 9 a.m. in the Philippines. 9? Yeah, 9 a.m. We tried to actually check. We tried before we actually start our, start our live. We tried to check the internet, the video before starting. But unfortunately, yeah, the internet was not stable at all. So good morning steve good morning good morning hi jeff good morning everyone joseph so hi inday lily so now we're okay good morning oahu guy so oh that's right we're on filipino time now we have actually internet problem <laughs> so okay hello texas Tisoy. Good morning. Next is okay. Hi Tim. Good morning, Tim. Hello, Dennis. Hi, Tom. Can you hear me? House. Yes, I can okay, hear okay. you. Um. Okay. Hi, Rudy. Good morning, Robbie Rose. Yes. Good morning, everyone. So yeah our topic for today is so we have a uh, topic for today guys that we um have to ask you if if this is considered a red, a red flag if um filipina has an experience dating to a foreigner before is it yeah. like uh, a so so a red flag in a relationship yeah is it a red flag that you're not the first foreigner that they have a relationship with so yeah but before okay. that uh thank you so much for waiting everyone thank you thank you uh, so much for waiting, waiting. <laughs> we're patiently waiting um, yeah sorry 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 guys yeah internet problems is out of our hands out of control so we're just lucky that the internet went back around 9.40, right? 9.45? 9.40. Yeah. And hopefully there is no brownout because um, around midnight, uh, like before like starting my shift, uh, there's like power interruption. So yeah, he, he didn't had a, he, he didn't actually had a work. Yeah. You you actually ha didn't have work, but you actually waited for the power to to come back, right? Right, right. Yeah, it was a long, I think long, five hours, six hours power interruption. Twelve midnight, guys. I don't have actually a good enough sleep because Haley keeps on wailing because there's no like, it's so Man. hot. There's <laughs> it's so there's hot. Almost, yeah. And I wake up like 9 a.m. to, you know, prepare everything. <sighs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I don't have I don't have enough sleep, but it's okay. And then afterwards, there's internet problems. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> We're not lucky today. <laughs> so 
Let's go ahead with. with the okay, Joseph uh, said it would not be a red flag for me. Okay, okay, so why so, Joseph? Why isn't it a red flag for you? Because okay. here in the in the Philippines, let's say for example, if um, um, like a Filipino guy, like for sure, uh, they would ask to a Filipina if uh, she already have a relationship before or an access. So it's not a red flag as long as uh, she will not like talk to her excess. So yeah. you have to, to make sure because um, if she like still communicating or have a com communication with her ex, ex that will be, yeah. be a problem. Yeah, big problem because there are actually Filipinas that has multiple accounts, right? Yeah, I've noticed that right now. <laughs> a yeah, lot of multiple even, accounts. Even the young ones. Even the young one has multiple accounts. I'm, I'm wondering, why do they have a lot of accounts in Facebook? I was like yes. that. So for sure, that would be, we can say that that would be a sign of like a red flag, right? If they have multiple accounts and they don't yes. want to touch, you don't, they don't want to touch their phone. They're really like, like they're, they're so strict when it comes to their phones, right? yeah next dennis no i don't think as long as she's honest besides how long did she dated only red flag if she barely can count her dates okay <laughs> yeah that would be a warning or a big sign <laughs> yeah maybe maybe she's uh you know she she's into foreigner she wants to have a foreigner to date with because they're you know they're they want and she wants your money that's the reason why she wants to date a foreigner. Yeah. Next. Yeah. So you have to be like, cautious. You have to be careful on that kind of thing. Okay. You have to see to it that, okay, uh, she can't do, or you have to check or ask. Okay. You have to ask if everything is like really uh, already, like we can say secure. Okay. Uh, this is for your assurance also, guys. True. That's right. I would agree. Um, also, I would I would actually not judge right away. But, yeah, I think um, there are Filipinas that are really attractive, attractive to foreigners' eyes. Same as Charlotte. Same as... Um, I have friends that are like, they don't have any experience with Filipino relationship, only foreigners. Yeah. Yes. And let's say, for example, if you're Filipina, um, in terms of like, uh, let's say her phone, okay? If she would not allow you or allows you to use her phone, yeah, that would be a sign. But yeah. Uh, yeah, because you are boyfriend and girlfriend, right? Or, yeah, boyfriend and girlfriend. But she, like, will not allow you to, to use her phone. Why? Why? Yeah. yeah. What's she, the reason? She, she has something to hide. Next, um, any date is not necessary. The one same for local to local or between Pinay and foreigner. That's right, Dennis. Thomas, not really a red flag, depending on the circumstances as to the relationship. Yes, yeah. true. Next is BJ, I would be suspicious if multiple accounts. Yes, yeah. even for us, if we if I caught Roger ha has a second account, I would really question him. Yeah, like what what's the purpose? <laughs> yeah, I would really another account. I really, I would really interrogate him. Like, why do you have a second account? Why don't I know that? I was like that. I would always ask him about it. And we actually have a friend that she has a second account, and her partner just know that she has a second account when she when he tried to check her phone. 
You still yeah. remember? Yeah, that would be a scenario, guys. That would be a good example. So, like I said earlier, like I said earlier, much better to like to check, you know, um, her phone, so that uh, you can see if she's like hiding something or not. Okay. If she's okay, if she's okay to uh, use or if she's confident enough to to use her phone. Or, to let you use her phone. Yeah, to let you use your phone. So, well, that would be uh, good. Okay, next is Joseph. After dating for many years, I'm not looking for a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's actually also a good topic to, to actually ask you guys. But yeah, let's move forward to the, this primary topic that we have right now. Yeah, because okay. there's no, like, for sure, like, ages, 20s very rare to find a virgin i guess <laughs> very rare uh, yes i would agree <laughs> there okay. are some but it would just be you can count them yes especially at the age of like the let's say 25 and above or yeah. 20 and above yes true <laughs> next is um thomas multiple fb accounts red flag warning true yes, you especially have to, like, if you don't okay, know this is a red flag <laughs> yeah next is robbie rose oh no dennis uh, i would just ask to swap phones for the evening unlocked let's see who got some to hide something to hide true that's actually <laughs> a perfect way to to know that she has something to hide swap phones yeah. the entire day yeah like a challenge <laughs> yeah a challenge for her <laughs> hi gary. gary yes good, good morning, morning gary. how morning, are you gary. and welcome to our live today gary yeah so, where are you from brother okay robbie how did the one week okay I'll typhoon i'll scratch all right i love cars robbie okay man too many girls to choose from why put oh there's a bulkroom um robbie rose we literally live in the car a few days as a typhoon took off our roof and broke out all windows wow that's a strong typhoon robbie where is that in in texas that, that would be Odette. Cebu. Odette. in yeah, cebu sure. oh okay next is in our rental house of course Bobby, if she turns the phone face down when sitting together, red flag. Yeah, like, okay, this is the table, and then her phone will be like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually questionable, I guess. <laughs> guess most of us, uh, most of us would make the, the phone like this, like, yeah, like in front most of the time. We don't do this like that yeah okay texas to soy ask me roger when a person deals with red flags for being a simp he he might as well wave the white flag and surrender okay <laughs> <laughs> okay next is well robert zach said do you have enough gas for ac okay i we're sorry robbie is this in um type typhoon or that or is this a different experience, Robbie? Okay. Robbie said, BJ, yes, we just filled up, of course. Being able to charge our phones was uh, paramount. Yes. If it's Typhoon who that, that's actually the um, important thing before, actually. Me and Roger had a problem. <laughs> Okay, so lol is me. Your phone just disappeared when you did. When you <laughs> <laughs> it's a magic. Yeah, magic. Whoop. <laughs> so people, not to all red flags. Yes. Yes. True. Yes, we're talking about the typhoon there in Cebu. Really? We didn't actually know that you stayed in a car. Wow. Good thing that you, you had a full tank so that you you can charge your phone there but still uh, 
that's a that, that's really scary to experience right staying at a, a car and the windows are cracking my god <laughs> okay yeah um even even as you know um we're not into like we have we have to check as well uh like her, her background what would be uh like her experiences or past experiences so it's it's a part of your um uh, your relationship like to ask about you know the past right so that you have an idea uh what she had like been to because that would be like uh a sign also or a way to know the the person or to know the the woman yeah true i have a question for you guys um do you sometimes interrogate or ask questions to your pinai like the same as philip philip the same as um your girlfriend not just pinai um because most of us actually ask a lot of questions to the foreigner to really know you do you also do that too please comment down below next is we couldn't get down the mountain lines everywhere. Texas this way. People remember your worth way more than dealing with a girl bull crap. Remember you worth and demand the best. Okay, your worth demand the best. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're the type of guy that you think that you're um, honest, lovable. Yeah, you can really choose here. There's a lot of Filipinas, Pinais, that would really treat you. Um, they're, 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 they would re really treat you good. Um, they would really love you. As Texas Tesoy say, there's a lot of fishes here. So you can really choose. Depends on you if you want to do a single mom or a single woman yeah right yeah yes next is robbie rose ironically texas we like cebu as it's general typhoon safe uh yeah when it comes to typhoon safe cebu is one of the location that is typhoon safe um maybe there would be some experience that you would um like experience typhoon strong typhoon that's just rare cases in Cebu, also in Negros, right? Yeah, Negros, very, very uh, rare. Like, uh, as we said, yeah, the last time that um, here, Typhoon is like really rare because we are on a low world level compared to uh, like Bohol, Leyte, Cebu, and we are surrounded by like big mountains. So it's just that during the uh typhoon of that uh we really like you know i mean the typhoon or that really it is here that's the only typhoon that um like you experience yeah, that i experienced that, wow um i think in my experience in cebu we experienced like three typhoon that is strong and namely Odette is one of them uh aside from Odette we had I forgot it was I was still little at that time mm -hmm. yeah Yolanda. I forgot that Yolanda, Yolanda yeah Lola, Yolanda and I forgot the other one Roping Roping yeah Roping yeah so next to Waho I uh, guess yes asking many questions me means less questions they can ask me okay so are you okay guys that your filipina would ask you a lot of questions does it like make you angry or what's your thought about it oh where is esme guys <laughs> what happened to esme okay we'll just wait for for her i don't know what happened maybe connection problem okay dennis uh with my last ldr sure i asked a lot and about the past but i kept 
Okay, keep it light. In pH, answers are likely not trustworthy. If many exes you likely won't want to lose face and about it anyway. Yes. So, yeah, first, yeah, at first you have to ask in a polite way. And uh, like I said earlier, it's like really better to really ask some questions about her past also. It's like a part of knowing each other. Because even me, if I um, like have a, a girlfriend, I should ask her about her past. Because, you know, uh, it's a matter of fact that you're trying to, um, again, like I said earlier, to know her and um, to know if she still have, let's say, for example, she still have a connection with her exes or her past. Okay, Joseph, um, Texas, are, uh, you're assuming every foreigner has high value. Dennis, uh, Texas Tisoy, Dennis, man, all them, the questions she ain't gonna answer them, honestly, especially LDR, that's foolishness, yes. So, much better, I guess, uh, when you visit here in the Philippines, we, uh, you're Filipina, you have to ask it personally so that you can really uh, see her in person and then the reaction as well when you throw the question. Because you can see the sincerity um, through her eyes, uh, through her movement or action. So uh, if you're going to ask that online, so she just had the time to like have it take her time to, to answer those questions that being thrown. Okay, so Phil M. Will has a uh, good morning from the Philippines, brother. How are you doing today? Okay, she asked me to marry her her three days. Oh wow. After meeting online. So it was more likely marry me now. Ask question later. Lol, it worked out beautifully. Oh well, that's a good one. If your relationship did really work out. Okay, so my last LDR was in the Pinay. So what happened, by the way, Hubs? What happened? Um, my computer shook. Mm, like okay. it freaks. Ah, okay. So uh, Jeff, good morning. Uh, she can ask all she wants. I might not answer them, although. Yeah, up until now, my computer is still freezing. Like, I cannot see myself right now. Oh, really? Yeah. But I, yeah, we, we can see you clearly and hear you clearly. Oh, no. All right. Uh, and we did meet multiple times. Okay. Okay, another question, guys. Okay, this is a question that uh, I would really ask as well, because here in the Philippines, uh, some Filipino men or guys, it's like okay for them to, it's okay for them that his or their partner will still hang out with their exes. Would it be okay that your partner or your, let's say, Filipina, not only Filipina, but your girlfriend would still hang out uh, with, like, let's say, hang out with uh, her or their exes, but not not just two, but like, uh, like a company, like, let's say, friends of friends. Would it be okay with you or what? Uh, good morning, Mr. Smiley. Good morning. I always ask questions. The problem was when I would go over to visit during the um 129 it's that foreign net process red flags didn't start waving until after she got there to the us wow that's the thing guys that's the the problem also I... um okay that's the the case or the like a scenario that would say or i would say you're you're still okay with here living in the philippines with your filipina but when you 
bring bring her to your country or to your place she would change she would change because there are some filipinas i would not really generalize okay not all but some filipinas they have their desire or intention that my my goal is to like go to the other country or abroad so that's why maybe one of her desire um mr smiley like she can go to the other country so which in fact um she's uh, sorry to tell you but this is like she's kind of using you to to like you're like a bridge like uh, this is the person this is the person that or a key that i can go to abroad something like that i know that you you are you're like together for how many years but uh sad to say that she changed her um uh, she changed when she get to your country or to the u.s can you hear me yeah can hear you okay so yes have... hi guys i have yes. some some problem with my computer right now or because of the internet i don't know but yeah i'm trying my best um so yeah texas is so well at the end of the day as man your character is still what you have and so you should find peace instead of all the damn drama Okay, Texas is so sad. Yes. Wow, guy. In general, I think most American men love love it. Okay. I think helps your computer is okay. 